Hi, this is my video to talk about my project for this class. Um, I worked on a hyperdoc that um, is for a mythology class that I'm going to be teaching in the next semester. And what I wanted to do was introduce the Norse gods with this hyperdoc and have several different activities for my students to explore um, Norse mythology. This would be the beginning, so it would be like the first lesson, and then subsequent lessons would have students doing uh, different things based on what they did in this initial activity and how they want to pursue that, that knowledge. So let me begin by saying that I would not give this assignment without having a video introduction first, so I didn't do a separate introduction, but um, I would definitely have something that my students would know, like I would walk them through how to do this. So I have my object objectives at the top. They're basically they're going to identify the gods and goddesses in North mythology and understand their culture, and then they're going to create um, a video showing their their learning. Um, I've created different activities and links in this hyperdoc so the students can um, find the information that they need to make this video. So they're going to have to uh, make a copy of this document first. So, but most likely what I would do is, have, is change the view at the top of um, my address bar to make a copy so that they would already have that in the Google Drive. Um, on the left hand side I'm asking them to explore the links and go to the, through the different um, Um, ways of looking at this information and these different genres and then on the right hand side jot down some information that they find interesting. So the, I'd let them know that they're going to work in the, with the bold stuff to begin with. So the first thing they would do is um, take this quiz because it is a, a found this on um, um, YouTube while well, I was looking for something totally unrelated and it gives a really good introduction of um, how like what the different Norse gods are um, I'm not sure if I can get no oh, there it is okay so you answer different you answer seven questions and then at the end of the um, you have ten seconds to answer the question and then they give you a um, score based on what you choose and from there um, you get to the end of the video and it tells you who you are about which of the guys you are and the cool thing about this video is that it ranks you as Odin or Thor or Loki or Balder or I think the last one is uh, Tyr and it was just kind of fun I was kind of thinking it'd be a really good introduction to um, who they are, so you might want to learn more about them. So, like my, the guy I would be was is Balder, and so if I'm interested in in what the video said about Balder, I could definitely work on that. Um, and Balder is like the coolest of the gods. He's, you know, really smart, but um, he's also passionate about um, things that he does and stuff like that. So he's kind of fun. Um, anyway, I just thought this would be a really good introduction to who some of the major gods are in Norse mythology. This is coming off of a unit on um, Greek gods and goddesses and how the Romans changed the Greek gods and goddesses. And so now we're looking at um, a different part of the world with the Norse. And not a lot of people know about Norse mythology on purpose. They know a little bit from comic books or from the... Um, uh, movies with Thor and Ragnarok and stuff like that, but not the true mythology. So this is always a really good unit that the kids like. Um, okay, so the next thing I have them do is look at, um, or go through this Ed Puzzle, and this is the first time I've really worked with Ed Puzzle, and it was interesting because I have to, as the teacher, it's not just like you worry about the students who kind of fall asleep when they're watching a video or when we watch it as a whole class, they fall asleep or not maybe not fall asleep, but at least they're not really paying attention. It, it Snapchat's so much more important and fun. 
than watching a video in class. So, but with Edpuzzle, um, as a teacher, you're going through, and if you can, you can see the different um, areas where I have, I have questions and I have audio. Um, but the students, right today, I have it set so you can go through and look at what I'm doing. But when I would assign this to the students, I wouldn't have the skip going. Um, so you can see that I have questions here. Um, I can skip this just so I can, uh, for demonstration purposes, um, show some of the questions I have. How the Romans North mythology. And so, terms, these are two um, sets of the Norse students themes. would first type in an answer. They type in their answer over here. So, two of the most famous gods are Thor and Odin. And then I would submit that. And at the end of the, at, when the students finish this, um, at the end I could see, you know, how they're paying attention to stuff. And like I said, when I assign this to my students, I will have the skip button um, defaulted to off. So they have to answer the questions. Doesn't mean they have to make them right, but at least I can see um, when they submit the video um, who has who was paying attention the most and, and that kind of thing. And I'm pretty sure Ed Puzzle, Ed Puzzle gives you a way to um, see what the grades were and individual answers. I think that this will be most helpful in a strictly online class because I don't always see those students. Well, unless they're at my school, I don't see them at all. But it would at least help me know, you know, who's interacting and, and it would give me a way to differentiate if somebody's having trouble with something or um, if I needed to go back and hopefully teach that, that stuff for those students. Um, so here they can you know write something um, that they found interesting. Next part is a photo essay and the photo essay is just I just found it interesting because it gives lots of pictures and um, some tales in uh, talking about the North, Norse mythology. I keep, it sounds like I say North but I'm saying Norse um, before they start reading some stuff so it um, gives them a way to visualize um, the different gods and goddesses that they're going to meet, mostly the gods. So they'll read through this um, and then in this area write some things that they have learned. The next part is a slideshow that is filled with notes and I probably need to go back and fix that so I'll fix that slide real quick, sorry about that. Um, and then they'll play a Quizlet game and this is just to um, uh, learn the different uh, names and terms that they will, they'll need to know and they're going to come in co contact with when they um, are reading the myths. I did find a couple of songs because I several kids who are um, musically inclined and I wanted them to this see. This is an app for a project um, called Monday.com. This is what second, it looks sorry. like and this is what it feels like. Okay, so I just wanted them to have some ways to see that um, mythology is in all of our lives, basically. And um, this composer is somebody I'm not really familiar with, but um, they have a song on YouTube, and it was an interesting based on the uh, goddess and the serpent. Um, and then there's a Led Zeppelin song, because um, who in my generation doesn't like Led Zeppelin? Um, <laughs> and this is a good way for kids to maybe talk to their parents about different things that they're learning in school because um, a lot of parents are listening to Led Zeppelin. My brother-in-law actually told me about this song because I'm a Led Zeppelin fan, but um, they apparently did a whole lot of um, music based on mythology and um, that kind of stuff. So I have the song there and the lyrics so students can look at the, uh, listen to the song and then read the lyrics and then write down some things that they found interesting about those things. Um, this blog is about Norse mythology and written by um, a philosopher, I think he's a philosopher, or maybe he's a religion guy, I don't know what exactly he is, but um, it's all about how he looks at the mythology and relates it to modern day. 
And I thought this would be interesting for students who, again, want to see um, different ways that mythology is played out in our in our normal everyday lives. Um, this article is from a website about history and just goes in more detail about the different uh, gods and places that the students are going to see as they read um, several of the stories. Um, I made a thing link about mythology, or I found a thing link, excuse me, because the, 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 I thought this was the one that I had made as an example. Um, but this is the Tree of Life, basically, Yg Yggdrasil. And from here, students can see all different things about this tree and kind of um, how Norse mythology relates to other stories and things that they're going to learn in other, or they may have already learned in other English classes. Um, and this is just a different, I think it's always fun to just kind of explore different um, genres and pieces of information. And you're going to see that tree a lot, so that was pretty important. Then I want them to know a little bit about the religion of the Vikings. So we talk about Valhalla, and we talk about the Tree of Life, which is Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil, I can't say it correctly. Um, and Yggdrasil is probably my, one of my favorite parts of all of Norse mythology. And then the last one is um, Niflheim, which is not as important as I thought it was going to be. Um, but I wanted to call it Niflheim instead of Hell, H-E-L, as you can see right here, um, because they will they can contrast Niflheim to um, the Greek underworld, which is always fun. So this is just an introduction, and they would have jotted some notes down, just kind of a couple of things that they want to remember, not a whole lot of stuff, because this is just a um, quick, easy way. Also send them to a, a place to learn about runes and how to write their name. Um, so after they write their name, um, they'll type they'll type their name in, and then they'll the program or website will give them a picture like mine. And this is how this is what my name will look like in a room. So that's Stephanie. Um, and then I have them take a quiz on the information that they've learned. Um, and so they just put the code in and um, they have to get a 90% to pass the, the test and they can take it up to three times. So that's a basic introduction to Norse mythology and kind of what I wanted them to know about. And they can go back and do any of this at any time again. The next thing they're going to do is list, do this 3 two, one thing that I do a lot, which is basically a um, um, exit ticket. So three things they learned, two connections they made, and a part they want to talk about more. The last part is making a video that they can either, uh, it's a children's, a children's book basically, that introduces Norse mythology or compares Norse and Greek mythology. So they're going to take some time to look at my example here and then plan out each slide. So they have to have eight slides um, and I tell them they have to add some, add some seconds when they talk about the <clears throat> um, when they go into the Adobe Spark, and then I have several different checks. So um, the one check, the one check is just me looking at their um, notes they just take over here, and then another one is the quizzes, and then they're gonna share this document with me so I can see their exit ticket, um, and then they're gonna show me their talk to me about their draft on this side, their notes on their this side, and then. Um, so I tell them here to make sure that they um, email me that link. And then the last thing they're going to do is write a blog post so they can um, show me that stuff. They're going to turn their, their video into a Padlet, which is right here. And um, also their video will be on the Padlet and then their um, um, link to their blog reflection will be um, as a comment underneath that. Um, underneath that. So we're going to use Adobe Spark. This is a, vi a video creation that I found that I really enjoy and is really is pretty easy. Um, so that is my um, project, and I hope you enjoy it.